It's Megan Andrew, and I'm going to be answering more of your sex questions right now. Hi, my name is Tirza. I was talking with Megan today about pornography, and so we've got a question regarding porn. Megan, are you ready? Yay, porn! Yay, porn! Yay, porn! <laughs> <laughs> How do you know if a specific porn was made in complete respect to a performer's rights? So the short answer that I would say to this person or to you is you don't unless you were on the stage having sex with these people. Um, that's not really the answer I think that you're looking for though. No. No. I'm sort of wondering, I mean maybe more about how performers come to choose the scenes that they're in, workers' rights, okay. regard to performers. So when we're looking at pornography, there's things that you should be looking for. like. Have you heard your friends talking about a certain company? Have you heard good things about certain types of performers? Have you seen some of the performers talking about their own safety and their own rights? That's one of the things that I really start to key into is um, individuals like Madison Young, Nina Hartley, talking about like the safety of their sets, talking about do they get to choose what type of sex scenes that they're in and who they're having sex with. To a porn performer, what does an ethical shoot look like? Or what mm. happens at an ethical shoot? Okay, so in an ethical shoot, there have been things that have already been set up. So, for instance, um, this, the types of sex have already been determined. In an ethical shoot, a performer wouldn't walk in and somebody say, Surprise! Anal's gonna happen today! And a lot of times, porn performers will talk about that they need two or three days before an anal scene to get ready. So, you want to make sure you respect their boundaries. Um, fair wages safety in the workplace, that people want to be having sex with the people that they're going to be having sex with, um, that they're okay with the types of sex that they're having. So these are some of the things that individuals who perform are looking for. So what about STI testing? Is that regulated, mandated? STI testing is something that is regulated. Um, technically you are not supposed to be working at all within the, the industry if you have not been tested recently and can show your paperwork. So in an ethical workplace, papers would have to be produced. However, a lot of porn that shows up on like Xtube or stuff like that, a lot of those are home videos. So we're, porn is being produced, but it's usually done in people's bedrooms or outside and there's no paper swapping taking place. Could you maybe give me an idea of where I would find ethical porn, maybe? Okay. So, if we're looking at the industry, one of the things um, that Ira Reese, who is a porn producer, has taught me is that all porn within the industry is ethical because there's so many um, mandated clauses, there's so many regulations that you have to go through if you own a company before you can shoot porn. You have to have so much paperwork on everyone is over the age of 18. There's a database in terms of each individual and they have listed what they're comfortable doing. And if it's not specifically listed, you can't book them for that shoot. So there's one database for this whole, there's whole industry? There's multiple databases. Oh, wow. Yeah, and that's within the, the big industry, like the big porn, the Vivids mm -hmm. and the, the mainstream organizations. Now, if you start looking into some of the smaller um, organizations, usually like the feminist collectives, so the feminist porn producers, sometimes they go through them and sometimes they tap their friends who are in the porn world but maybe aren't in it to the degree of like Jenna Jameson um, is in it. And so there's different regulations in terms of that. So it depends on like what our ethics are because I know a lot of the individuals that are in the, the feminist porn industry are like no sex on film without barrier methods and in mainstream porn we're struggling in terms of condom usage and dental dams and gloves are usually not ever 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 used but within feminist porn they're usually used how would you recommend going about this tricky business of choosing the flavor of ethical that you'd like your porn to be so i compare it a lot to shop at a grocery store. Okay. 
Okay, so which grocery store do you shop at? I shop at Eastside Market. Eastside Market, okay, so you are a local co-op kind of leaning type of person, I'm, yeah. I'm assuming. Yes. So then I would suggest going for that genre of porn. So small, local, you know that the money is going directly into like one person's hands and then it's being divided up. It's not going to a mainstream market. So uh, I would say things like um, Madison Young Productions. Um, I would say things like here are some videos. Goodies. Um, yes, goodies. goodies. Hand basket. Um, this is another of Madison's fluid men redefining sexuality. Candida Royale does a lot of softer types of pornography. But there's a, there's a wide variety. And so on the center's website, we have actually a section of ethically produced pornography from a feminist standpoint. So we kind of blended both of those worlds in where we're like, okay, all porn, if it's mainstream, is ethical. However, we, we're a little bit more crunchy. So we want to make sure that we, we kind of know the people that are performing. And we've heard their stories so that it's, it's, it's closer to us. If they're going to bitch, we're going to hear about them bitching about a certain company and who to avoid and who to go towards. You know, there's so many different types of porn. Like this is uh, porn that features trans individuals, uh, Candida really focuses in on couples. Hartley, for instance, who I love Nina. You know I have a huge crush on Nina Hartley. Who doesn't have a huge crush on Nina? She's got an amazing ass and a beautiful brain. Nina works with large mainstream companies, but she identifies as a feminist. And I, I once asked her, I was like, you know, how do you work with the big companies if you have these ideals that don't necessarily mm -hmm. match up? And she's, she said, you know, I bring my feminism onto every set. Nina um, works with some of the more mainstream companies, but she delivers her authentic self. Films made by Madison Young. Madison usually has the workers meet. So she usually has people do breathing exercises before they actually start fucking together for like 40 minutes. And they're not just getting naked right off the bat. There are other types of porn, so Candida Royale has made a lot of pornography and she used to work in the industry and so she's like, I want to show what I was missing when I was working, what I wanted to see. So Candida has a softer flavor, usually features real life couples. There's also Tristan Terramino. She does how-to videos and she also does like the straight hardcore fucking. She's someone who kind of straddles the middle, like, like Nina, like she's feminist, she's got a one name, a lot of people recognize her name, but she works with the mainstream companies. We haven't hit this one yet. Okay. And I'm wondering what you can tell me about it. Okay, so that's Overloaded. Um, that is by Kelly Shivari. Kelly actually directed this. Kelly is fantastic performer. Um, she won a couple of awards for this film. And it's a film that she produced, she directed, and she thought up. And what I really like about Kelly's work is that she gets very dirty. She does things that sometimes people say, well, feminists don't do this. How could this be, because Kelly identifies as a feminist, like how could this be feminist pornography if she's having some two guys flower and then at the same time? Like, okay. is, that, is that really ethical in like the feminist world? And for Kelly, she's like, this is the type of sex I like so it's ethical for me. She produced this film called Overloaded, which got a lot of commotion. It's very, very dirty. Kelly is having double vaginal penetration at the same time, and then the camera gets all up close in her vag and watches the semen leak out. She does anal with the same type of thing, and when this came out, I remember being a little shocked. And then I had a conversation with her, and she's like, this is the type of sex I like. This gets me off. I have great orgasms with it. I was like, rock on. If this is the type of sex that she likes, she's producing it, she knows what's going into it, this is totally an ethical type of pornography in her mind and in my mind. But frankly, if the performer is telling me that this is the type of sex that they like and they know that they're gonna be engaging in it, that's, that's ethical pornography. When people say, Ethical, they're talking about working conditions, they're talking about fair wages, they're talking about the types of sex that they're um, possibly gonna be engaging in. And other times people are like, this behavior 
is immoral or this behavior isn't ethical. So you have to kind of tease it out. Would maybe an award listing be a good place for me to start looking for some films? The Feminist Porn Awards uh, takes place every year at the end of April, beginning of May. That is a great place to check out. So I would recommend if you're looking for porn resources, the center's uh, section on pornography and then the Feminist Porn Awards nominations. Mm -hmm. So thanks for uh, being curious. Yeah. about porn. I know that Always. it's kind of dear to your heart right now. It is so dear to my heart and I'm sure there are many others just as curious as I am. Yes. <laughs> okay, what's figging? Figging is when you put a peeled ginger root up your bum. Now wasn't that fun? You should ask us your sex questions so that we can answer them here in the center's library. Find us on our social media channels, find us on our website, thecsph.org, and we will see you next week.